Nelma Ulit, Jesus the Way Up Ministries. Today I'll be starting a series on the Kingdom of God. And this is based on the book of Eldon Ladd, entitled The Gospel of the Kingdom. This is an introduction. Matthew chapter 4, verse 23, and I go, He, Jesus, went all about Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom. If you look around you, you will observe how we live in this wonderful and yet fearful day and world. Science has given us the comfort and prosperity which are all within our reach to enjoy. Planes, cars, computers, your smartphones and televisions, Wi-Fi, internets, medicines, and vaccines to fight sicknesses and diseases, even epidemics and pandemics. I used to work for a construction company for more than 35 years. And the engineering and architecture I saw and we built were outrageously amazing. Building structures, roads and bridges, airports, underground tunnels, high rises, high rises and many others. Man's imagination and creativity soar as high as heaven itself. Travel and communication facilities multiply their effectiveness exponentially. That in a very short time, one will be able to meet with people and virtually talk to them face to face. Truly, Daniel prophesied it accurately when he said many will roam to and fro and knowledge will increase. Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. But even in this advancement, peace, happiness, and security are still wanting and seem to be slippery it's from our fingers. We are still faced with tremendous dangers and challenges. And that feeling of safety and peace eludes us. Our freedom has been constantly threatened and good men fought with evil men who continuously try to suppress that freedom. History tells it all. Good and evil fighting against each other have filled the pages of our history books and forced us to ask these questions. Will this end and who will be the final victor? And in this quest for freedom, what part do we have to play? What then is our goal, our purpose, our destiny, our part in history? Or are we just a small Dutch in the history book, waiting for death to find and overtake us, and then we are no more? Many have dreamed of an ideal place to live, a utopia, where there is peace and order, love, eternal youth, where there is no lack of resources, no sicknesses, not even death, and therefore only happiness and perhaps eternal life. Man religions tries to give an answer and identify where and how this place, this condition could be found or built if indeed it could happen or exist. But they, are all, they all come up with nothing except absurd speculations. The Judeo-Christian faith has an answer for this, where its hope lies in the existence of the kingdom of God. This hope is biblical and revealed in a religion that is grounded in the belief and confidence that there is one eternal living God who revealed himself in the flesh and dwelt with men. He came for the very purpose of redeeming men from his condition and brought with him and made available, available to everybody who accepts his rulership, his kingdom, the kingdom of God. The kingdom, according to Jesus, can men now enter and be a, able to enjoy its benefits, but are not completely to be experienced yet. A place where men live together in peace, where war will be no more, 
where the problem of humanity will be solved and evils of men's physical environment will be gone meaning a happy future where there will be joy peace and prosperity but if it is in the future how about now Nell Mowlet Jesus the way of ministries